Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial from tech for all This is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh. In this video, I will show you how you can configure a DHCP server, how to create a IP scope, how to exclude some IPs, and how does DHCP work. If you don't know how to install the DHCP server rule in Windows Server 2019, I have put the link of the video in the description. Let's start. Open the server manager. If you have installed the DHCP rule, click on the notifications button and then click on the complete DHCP configuration. The first page is the description and it says that before you proceed to the DHCP server configuration, first you have to create the following security groups for delegation of DHCP server. One is DHCP administrators and the second one is DHCP users. Let's see if these groups are created in the Active Directory or not. These groups are not created. Let's head back to the DHCP. Click on the Next button. In the Authorization page, you can specify which users should be authorized to use the DHCP server in Active Directory domain services. I will go with the Administrator account. Click on the Commit button. In the summary page, you can see that first it is creating security groups and I need to restart the computer or the server. Click the close button. Now let's restart the server. After the server manager is opened, click on the tools menu and select DHCP from the menu. Expand it. Now click on the server where DHCP server is installed and expand it. As I'm using the IPv4 version, now let's create an IPv4 scope. Right click on the IPv4 and select new scope from the menu. The new scope wizard will be opened. Click the next button. Here, type a name for the scope. You can give a description also. Click on the next button. Now, I specify what should be the start IP address and what should be the end IP address. I will use the class C IP. The start IP address should be 192.168.1371 and the end IP address should be 192.168.137.254. The subnet mask will be automatically calculated. Click the next button. If you want to exclude a range of IP addresses for your network devices such as wireless routers, servers and so on, you can do it in here. I will exclude the IP address from 192.168.1371 up to 192.168.137.50 Click on the Add button Now click on the Next button Here you should specify the lease duration for an IP The lease duration specifies that how long a client can use each and specific IP address from this scope I will give it a lease duration of for example 4 days after four days, if the client is not using the same IP address, a new IP address will be assigned. And click on the next button. Here, you should specify that whether you want to configure the DHCP options for this scope now or not, such as, for example, default gateways, DNA servers, and so on. If you don't want to configure, select the second option, but I will configure the other options too. Click on the next button. Now specify the default gateway or router for this specific scope, which is 192.168.1371. Click on the Add button. Click on the Next button. Specify the domain name and DNS server in here. 
as the domain name is already defined because I have configured the DHCP server and DNS and domain controller in a specific or on the same server. The DNS server IP address is also included. Click the next button. I don't want to configure any WNS server, so click on the next button. Here it says that do you want to activate this scope or not? If you want to activate it, select the first option. I will not activate the IP scope now, so I will go with the second option. Click on the next button. Click on the finish button. To activate a scope, first select the scope and click on this icon. Now that the DHCP scope is activated, let's check whether the clients are assigned IP addresses by the DHCP server or not. This is a Windows 11 client computer. Open the network and connections page. Right click on the Ethernet adapter and select status. Click on the details button. As you can see that it's assigned an IP address of 52. The default gateway, the DHCP server address and the DNS server address is also assigned. Let's head back to the DHCP server and check the record of this specific computer. To check the client's IP addresses, click on the address leases. Here you can see that two computers are currently connected. The first one is my host machine and the second one is the Windows 11 virtual machine. Both of them are assigned IP addresses through DHCP server. Now let's reserve a specific IP address. To add a reservation, click on the reservations and then right click on it and select new reservation from the right click menu. I specify a name for this reservation. I specify the IP address and here you should specify the MAC address. Here you can add a description and what should be the supported type. I will select the first option which is both. Click on the add button to add the reservation. The reservation for the host laptop is added. Click on the add releases. Here you can see that the IP address of 51 is assigned or reserved for the host laptop IP. And that's all for today. If you need any help, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for the future upcoming videos. I will catch you very soon with another tutorial. Till then, have a nice time.